So today we're talking about what not to do with what UE4. What not to do with UE4. That's right. That, that's going to be a funny one. And let's yeah. start. What are the landmines of UE4? Uh, well, yes. UE4 is full of landmines because of the way UE4 as an engine is being done by Epic Games. And why I mean about that? Okay, let's be honest. Let, let's compare UE4, the workflow in, U, in UE4 compared to the workflow in Unity. Yeah. Because uh, when people compare uh, engines, by the way, what they always seem to compare is the rendering capabilities, which is ridiculous. You yeah. should always compare workflow. Exactly. Uh, and what's the easiest pipeline for you. Um, but, but yeah, uh, Unreal's particular uh, pitfalls and landmines come just as all engines have their own concepts of how things should be done. Um, so uh, your, your first kind of so thing for, for, is... For, for example, in Unity, if you do something in Unity and it's not... Yes. And if you do something and it's not the way you're supposed to do it, Unity lets you do it, and then maybe when you're polishing, you're, you'll find, oh shit, I've been like and you, trying and to work around this, and uh, yeah, oh, you, you tell Unity but you what's wrong, tell can me. can still do it. Yeah. In Unreal Engine, it's the opposite. So <laughs> if you're new in the Unreal Engine, you will notice that the intro uh, skills you have to have, it's really hard to learn. Why? Because in Unreal Engine, either you do the things the way they're supposed to be done, or, or Unreal's gonna kick back messages they that you doesn't tell you work. Don't they do doesn't that. work, period. Doesn't work. Yeah. So don't try to fight Unreal Engine. Yeah, uh, that would be point number one. Yeah, really, the, the first major point is do not fight Unreal Engine uh, because Unreal will throw up warnings and errors and it will point you to exactly what the yeah. problem is. Now, it's a good point you bring up about Unity. Other engines um, that will give you warnings uh, will let you ignore warnings and even error, like full like red flag errors sometimes. Don't do that in Unreal. Do, yeah, don't. Well, one, you can't uh, in Unreal, and two, uh, the things that it lets you it lets you ignore, it will still try to warn you about. Really address those. Uh, Unreal does want you to deal with these things. One, it, that, it, it, don't think of it as being aggressive. Think of it as trying to hold your hand. It, it does. This, this actually gets us uh, get us to the second point, mm -hmm. which is, do not make low end mobile games with Unreal Engine. Like, uh, yeah, unless you really know what you're doing. And then this doesn't come down to, uh, thanks to Fortnite, because Fortnite actually has this great port to mobile. They've had mm -hmm. a lot of recent improvements to mobile performance, and uh, also because of Vulcan demos and AR and VR for gear VR, like, you know, devices. They did a lot for mobile. But there's one thing that you need to be aware of, and that's the packaging size of any given Unreal Mobile project it tends to be around 50 megabytes to start, yeah. which, it, which for mobile is pretty sizable. So what you should be aware of is uh, the tutorials that exist and um, the resources. They, they do exist online. You have to do a little bit of digging. But uh, if you look especially in the UE4 jams, there's normally categories in the UE4 jams for uh, smallest packaging size for in like for like mobile or smallest packaging sizes. And there's actually and, and uh, an article uh, in the wiki too about what, to, what you can delete. What you can, so like you can really uh, yeah. cut out and put back on the onus of the actual CPU, GPU to build, bake in the beginning. Uh, so that's where you're going to save space. So that's one of the pitfalls of Unreal that, that it's just, that's a straight up And pitfall. then the, 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 the third one for me, this is fantastic. You should always use, you should always use Tick and get all actors of class whenever possible. Oh, oh constantly, constantly. Yeah, yeah, like all the time, oh, man, yeah, they are great. Yeah, like, yeah. So, actually, so, if you can, uh, the, first, uh, the first thing I do when I, when I start oh, yeah. a, a new project is, uh, tick sequence like 10 slots and then in each of the 10 slots I get a lot of class uh, so the government's honest truth is we're kidding yeah yeah, yeah. yeah of course uh, so the truth is uh, get all actors of class is a great node but it's abused uh, these aren't actually so much pitfalls of UE4 as much as they're pitfalls of new users of UE4. Exactly. People who start on UE4 uh, often think, well, I'll just do stuff on tick for checks, and we'll do a whole entire discussion on, on what not to do, and, and we'll have an argument even, uh, a nice fun debate about and that. And that's why um, that's yeah. why you should mm, try not to use them, actually. Yeah, like, yeah. Tick, tick, remember, is an insane amount of, of processing. So uh, use it for certain things, but not... Not when you can. If you want smooth movements like mm -hmm. winky or something, you, you yeah, need to like use really it for that, smooth, right? That's what it's for. But it's only for things that are, should be yeah. constantly checked. Like you don't need to check every frame if the player has the key to a door. Yeah. You oh, only yeah. need to check it students. when the player approaches the door. Yeah, students, come on. Yeah, I've seen, uh, I, I have a lot of, yeah, we have so many students where it's like tick, sequence, and then a series of checks to see if the 
if the player picked up an object. Yeah. And and this is not good practice. It's 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 not good, it's not. good practice at all. So actually it's the same with get actors of class. Yeah. So you can get around like it's already I only actually use get actors of car of class when I load a new level or on oh, begin yeah. play on begin play and like only once to get an array of things yeah. I want later on and I just preload that, that array and that's it. Yep, but that's it's it. always while while the game is finishing loading so the player doesn't realize the little spark that may be there. Yeah, but that's that's the best time to do it when you begin when you finish yeah. loading level, beginning play, and then you save, you create like a, an array of references to whatever the if you're doing get all actors a class because you just want to know where all the bad guys or all the brutes yes. or whatever it is. Throw that into an array once you've done it once. That way you can save it. And uh, the next one actually is... Uh, oh, uh, Do not abuse the level blueprint. Yeah, don't abuse. We, we, we will have a video about this. If, if it's not released yet, it will be released. Yes. But level blueprint should only be used as like things for cinematics, animation, mm -hmm. local things, and learning. Like yes. there's no reason why to keep using level blueprint uh, anymore when you are in the mid or, ad or advanced. Yeah, uh, so levels. So this is where we run into some scary stuff. Where like, um, a, a, you might be kind of new, and some of, I've seen a student um, before build an inventory in the level blueprint. The which fuck? Uh, yeah, really? I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but that's that's horrible practice because the don't ha, that one that doesn't make logical sense. Where would you store items inside of the ephemeral concept of the world around you? No. And this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about a point that we don't have here, but it's related. Yeah, like, but, but uh, yeah, don't use the level blueprint. And yeah, also, you can. blueprints is not art. There's no need to make octopus or you know this <laughs> oh, dead the war, like like yeah. There, there's the blueprint. Oh. Blu come on, blueprint art is not a thing. Your blueprints should I, be clean, just, should I be disagree. tidy. No, I mean they should be clean and tidy. But sometimes I use my uh, blueprint reroute notes to spell sin nudes, and then I screenshot it and I send it to my wife. You're special. Alex. I know. <laughs> Next point: <laughs> overcomplicated materials and particles. And this is a tricky one because when you start with Unreal Engine, you go to content examples and you see some of the content made by yeah, Epic Games. You're gonna see some AAA, uh, and you're going to see some hardcore. materials, and you're going to be like, "From lots of not," you say like, "What?" And then you're going to try to do your own materials, no, um, and they are going to have half the nodes, and they are going to be like. Yeah. Shit performance. Y you're gonna like, be yeah. You're really gonna be spending so much time wondering like, what did I do wrong? Um, yeah. Use the uh, references to particles and materials um, as references. Try to keep again keep it simple as you can. But what's what's but, what's the problem? But but the real problem is the people at Epic Games know what math is heavier and not as heavy as other things. They'll use material layers uh, very properly to save extra space, or they'll use material instances. So in yeah. short, it's not about the quantity of null. It's about no. how hard to calculate yeah it's about the amount of calculations exactly. per material of uh, when rendering that particular uh, material uh, when it's on frame when it's actually and, in, and it's actually the same with particles yeah. and uh, all the other particles, things uh, particles uh, generally when it comes to particles look into how gpu particles versus cpu particles work a lot of it comes down to that and using sub uvs to mm -hmm. get really good results but keeping a low and this actually profile. take us to the next step which is just kiss kiss I like this keep it simple no. stupid kiss keep yeah, it like simple stupid uh yeah anything that you can keep simpler and simpler go for it actually that's a thing that i do in my classes uh, when we do the particle class yeah i show them the fire particle and then we make a completely different like smoky fire like i call it magic fire particle and then i sh then we go back and look at it and we see how over complicated their fire is and i can cut out half of it and it looks almost the same or, or for you example you tell the difference you should not for example import a mesh from my or 3 studio max with like 80 material elements uh, material elements each one's a draw call try to keep exactly so few what elements. what does it mean if you have a mesh with uh, 10 slots for different materials and your mesh yep. has uh, 10,000 quads yeah it's going to draw actually 100,000 quads because for every uh, for every element it's going to redraw the entire mesh once uh, so just 
like uh, you know what yes yeah, kind, kind, kind of kind of yeah kind of like let's, it's, let's, call that let's be a, super a meta- dramatic metaphorically yeah that. metaphorically yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, that we're gonna i just say this but, because there's gonna be a programmer in the comments like excuse me but, but actually yeah, 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 yeah. we're actually trying to yes, 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 keep yes, it just, simple stupid you know what if you uh, if you can get out with only one material per mesh awesome two materials awesome two 80 materials i'm what sorry programmer to? not good nope just that's, that's it. it no if it, just remember like think of it as the amount of characters you have on screen you have one element you have one character two elements it's like having two main characters on the screen at a time yeah so uh less elements more good better so yeah i think that's it that's yeah, these are the, the don't fight unreal the, these are um, the 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 most prominent landmines of course there are others but yeah uh, definitely yeah. check out all the uh t- check out all the documentation that's available the number one landmine that i encounter is just people don't know things exist so google it yeah uh, or just google yeah google you it. are not probably the the first person in You're the world with that access non-warming so. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll make a video about that yeah we could do a whole video on just what is access none yeah so okay okay, so i think that's all for now and yeah so see you in the next one bye